I'm talking to Clarissa Bertem Gent, head of EMEA Partner Marketing. Uh, she had a keynote today talking about buying, selling and marketing for AWS. Uh, hey Clarissa, thank you for taking the time to speaking with me. Absolute pleasure, absolute pleasure. So Clarissa, um, maybe you can uh, summarize for us a little bit some key points uh, of the keynote speech that you gave. Yeah, so I think I was asked for the top tips um, for how partners can best take their solutions to market with AWS once they've built their differentiated offering. And the key piece for me is leading with customer stories. When our partners stand next to each other and we stand next to our partners saying, we've got this great solution, there is no better lens to tell that through than the impact that we make together on our customers' businesses. So my first ask is always, let's tell those customer stories because that's what will resonate with our customer audience at the same time. The second thing is just making the partners aware of all of the, the programs, the solutions, the funding, all of the other great sort of pieces and mechanisms that our partners can leverage to scale their ability and their own marketing resources to reach a greater market share. So uh, we're talking case studies basically uh, in written formats, video uh, that go to the market. Uh, do you have any tips on, uh, on how to best um, format these case studies just to get the best out of that story? Well, the first thing is really to lead with the business impact. So, you know, just talking about the solutions underneath, actually let's lead with the thing that has made the difference to the end customer's business. But we also work with agencies. So some of the programs that I talked through today were, we have a curated set of AWS agencies through a, a service called um, Agency Connect that enables our partners to work with an agency that is has been trained on how to write those AWS case studies and what really resonates with our customers. So my ask to the partners was use the services, make sure that you are engaging with them because it will A, make your ability to execute so much faster um, and B, enable you to scale your reach and resources as you go through. That sounds like a really great toolkit that AWS is offering their partners. Um, is there anything um, more that uh, partners may not be aware of that is in that toolkit? There's so much more and actually we just launched a platform called AWS Marketing Central where you can access all sorts of things from curated campaigns and assets to our virtual partner marketing managers and our concierge service to a team and an army of partner marketing managers ready to help partners navigate their way through all the marketing programs including those agencies that I just that I just mentioned. Um, and the, 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 kind of the final piece is actually Marketing Academy. So we know that our partners have a varying level of marketing maturity, marketing resources. So we have an academy to really train them on how to go to market as well. So there's a huge range of, a range of services available. And obviously there's funding. That's the key piece as well. It's all costs money, we know. Um, so we do have funding available to partners as well. And my ask to partners is understand that marketing development funding available to you, understand how to request it, um, and make sure that you're leveraging every penny to really scale your ability, uh, your ability to go to market, scale your own budget, and then really maximize the ROI off the back of it. Since we're in Berlin here, um, I thought maybe I'd ask you if uh, there are any peculiarities about the German market that you'd like to address. Yeah, it's a, good, it's a very, very good question. So the first for me is obviously localization. We have a lot of global partners here as well as local partners. You've got to make sure that when you think about those customer stories, they resonate with the local market. Tell those local stories to Germany, to Switzerland, to Austria. Make sure that they're going to resonate with the end customer audience that you're targeting. And also make sure you're using a respective local language. That's, that's probably number one. Number two, when we think about those customer stories or we think about the campaigns that you're targeting, specifically in Germany, the Mittelstand is so important. And we, you know, we have a real push to work with our partners to serve that, that customer segment as, as, as effectively as we can. But really segmenting your messaging and making sure it resonates with the Mittelstand or enterprise customers as well. That's the other key piece that I, I, I think is really specific to, to DACH and our German market. Uh, there's a new data center opening up in Switzerland. Um, what kind of um, expectations do you have uh, with that? For me, uh, any new region launch is, is so exciting for our partners. And we've now got a really great framework to embed those local partners in that region launch and feature them so that we can really go to market with and through that local partner community. So whether it be being part of the launch in the first place and one of those launch partners, or whether it be then just leveraging those local services to better serve the local customer base that our partners are working with. There's just so much opportunity um, to, to really, uh, I guess use it as a launch platform for, for their own services and um, to really target that local market. 
Thank you so much, Clarissa, for your time. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Absolute pleasure.